Hello everyone, this is Really Bioinformatics. In this video, we are going to see about Pyrex. Pyrex is a tool which is used to do docking under the XSN access from the from the. Pyrex is a more sophisticated version than Aurora. It has been developed by the same institute, the Scripps Institute. But Pyrex, which works as a pipeline, uh, it moves from next, 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 and the talks of docking. And the major difference between Aurora and the Pyrex is. In Autodoc, you can do docking for a single ligand at a single time. But in Pyrex, you can do multiple ligand docking at a single time. It's very crazy, right? Uh, in Pyrex, it also has the incorporated version of open babble, the energy minimization tools. So, it's somewhat more sophisticated than Autodoc. But basically, I prefer Autodoc if you're going for a single uh, ligand docking. Uh, like uh, if you have like uh, 10 ligands for docking, you should prefer auto uh, It The application is more stable than the Pyrex. I have a major problem with Pyrex that the Pyrex, Pyrex is suddenly getting closed. So your docking process will be lost, so you have to redo the steps. The application, is, uh, the application, has, a major, application has a major perk like uh, if you suddenly need. So I mostly prefer uh, auto dock if you're going for a, a single ligand docking or in a short rate, short amount of like uh, short amount of uh, ligands. Like if you had, if you're having like large amount of uh, ligands such as uh, like around one fifty two to one thirty two you can dock. Maybe at that case you should consider Pyrex. Uh, it will be okay. But mostly I prefer uh, auto dock. So just uh, go to the Pyrex download uh, and click this link and you can choose this uh, free version uh, and download it and install it like uh, on your device this is the window so after installing it uh, just open the application yeah okay it works fine after the uh, please uh, create a folder which contains uh, your both the uh, target and the uh, ligand molecules uh, like this. So here uh, I'm having the uh, five ligand molecules uh, both in uh, PDBQT format and then uh, the STF format and the target molecule in the PDB format. So make it a separate folder so for it so it can be easy to open it then uh, open the tool uh, first we have to load the molecules right uh, first go and load the molecule uh, go to a folder so just click the target molecule then right click on it and go to other arc and make it as a macro molecule done the macro molecule is done so here is the thing. If you have the ligand molecule in PDB QT format, you can directly load the ligand molecule. Uh, but if you have the ligand molecules in SDF format, uh, just open the open babel and uh, click on the uh, insert new item. So go to the folder where you have ligands. Here you have to select the ligand one by one. You can't select all and import it. Just pick one by one. I'm using the five ligands here. I'm importing the first one, and I have to do it for the all. Yeah, done. Uh, I will upload the, the. I basically loaded the five vegan molecules. Uh, so I have. So here uh, the vegan molecules are just loaded. So now uh, I am going to perform the energy minimization. Just uh, click on the compound and right click on it. So just select the uh, minimize all. So everything gets minimized, right? Then uh, right click on it, and we have to convert it into 
jadi bikin banget so kan kan oh itu loh gimana ya ya it's getting done so ya yeah, just go to the binabi right now and start the process so Yeah, so we have to select the ligand. So we have, here we have the energy mineral is ligand. So click on it. Yeah. For multiple selection, we use control. So then the file ligand selected. And uh, here uh, you can see the path where the output is going to be saved. Just uh, go and uh, blend blocking. So I'm just placing it in the side here. You can uh, manipulate the uh, side also. So here the side for the active side. So I'm just placing it over it. Yeah, I think the truth is done. So I'm gonna get the behind is going to run now. So now uh, the docking is completed. Here we can see the results. So you can save this as a CSV file. So I'm going to save it as a docking folder. Okay, I saved it. You can also save the image pose using uh, this function like uh, you can save it as an uh, SDF file you can load it in uh, the molecular viewer tools like uh, biomole uh, biobia discovery you can uh, load this ligand and also the target molecule to see the interactions 
but i'm not doing uh, it here so yeah that's how it's done let's go and check the output files in that folder the macro molecules folder the target so here you can find these uh, the output uh, pdbqt files after the object so you can just uh, load these ligands and the target uh, files in the biovia discovery uh, tool or pymol to see the interactions uh, let's see that the csv file we got yeah here yeah. So here we can see the ligands and the and the binding energies and the RMSD values. So you can uh, do the graph if you want. So you can see the relationship between the two variables. So here are we done with the webinar talking. Uh, you can use the uh, dot wizard too. So this video can give you a basic outline how to work with uh, these pirates. So thanks for being supporters. Uh, make some valuable discussion with the, us in the uh, community, like the community, and in the Google Classroom mail. You can reach us at the uh, using you can reach us at the uh, mail at, at any time. Uh, so please support us and thank you for watching the video.